Welcome to how to solve a quadratic equation. We're going to use 0 equals ax squared plus bx plus c. The solutions of a quadratic equation of the form 0 equals ax squared plus bx plus c are found where the graph of y equals ax squared plus bx plus c crosses the x-axis. We're going to use 60 equals 0.05x squared plus x. This is a quadratic equation because it can be written in standard form. And the standard form is 0 equals ax squared plus bx plus c, where a, b, and c are numbers and a is not equal to 0. The graph of a quadratic function is a parabola. If you want to use a graphing calculator, all you have to do is enter the equation in the form y equals, it will be y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Then you use the trace command to find the coordinates of the points on the graph. Let's solve this equation. First, rewrite the equation in the standard form, set the equation equal to zero, and then use the inverse operation. We're going to subtract 60 from both sides of the equation and then draw our equals line. 60 minus 60 equals zero. Bring down our equal sign, bring down 0.05x squared plus x, and then bring down our negative 60. Can you recognize the standard form? Zero equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Very good. Now let's graph. Change the y to zero. Make a table of values. Use at least five values to make a nicely shaped parabola. We'll use a negative 40, negative 20, 0, 20, and 40. Plug in negative 40 squared and negative 40 minus 60. We'll multiply We'll have 0 0.05 multiplied by 1600 minus 100, which gives us 80 minus 100. Y equals a negative 20. Plug in negative 20 squared, we get a negative 20 minus 60. Negative 20 squared is 400. Negative 20 minus 60 is a negative 80, giving us 20 minus 100. Y equals negative 80. Plug in 0, now we have 0 squared plus 0 minus 60. Multiply it out, 0 0.05 multiplied by 0 minus 60 gives us a negative 60. Let's plug in our 20 now. 20 squared plus 20 minus 60 will give us a 400 minus 40 multiply by 0 0.05. 0 0.05 multiplied by 400 is 20. Minus 40 gives us y equals a negative 20. Plug in 40. 0 0.05 multiplied by 40 squared plus 40 minus 60 gives us y equals 0 0.05 multiplied by 1600 minus 20 equals 80 minus 20 resulting in 60. Our table of values, negative 40, negative 20, negative 20, negative 60, 0, negative 60, 20, negative 20, 40, 60. When we graph our coordinates correctly, we then have a nicely shaped parabola, which opens upward. Our x-intercepts are the answer, and here we show our y-intercept. These are the x-intercepts in red. And they have our positive and negative value. Let's solve a quadratic equation using the quadratic formula 0 
equals ax squared plus bx plus c. There are two solutions to an equation in this form. We're going to have x equals a negative b over 2a plus or minus square root of bx squared minus 4ac over 2a. Remember this. We will have a plus or minus giving us two different answers. Here you see a, b, and c plugged into the formula. We're going to have 0 equals 2x squared plus x minus 25 as an example where a equals 2, b equals 1, and c equals a negative 25. All we do is plug in. We will have x equals a negative 1 over 2 multiplied by 2 plus or minus square root of 1 squared minus 4 times 2 times a negative 25 over 2 times 2. We will have x equals a negative 1 fourth plus or minus square root of 201 over 4, which is about equal to negative 1 fourth plus or minus 14.2 divided by 4. This will then equal about a negative 0 0.25 plus or minus 3.55. When we break it up into two answers, we have a negative 0 0.25 plus 3.55 which is about 3.3 or about a negative 0 0.25 minus 3.55, which is about a negative 3.8. Thank you for solving quadratic equations.